Hi, I'm Rachel McGarry. I'm an associate curator at the Minneapolis Institute of Art. We are in the exhibition Envisioning Evil, the Nazi Drawings by Mauricio Lazansky. The Nazi drawings were executed in the 1960s by the Argentine-American artist Mauricio Lazansky. He was born in Argentina to Jewish parents from Lithuania, and he emigrated to the United States in 1943. Lazansky began the Nazi drawings in 1961 and he worked on them for the next 10 years. They really represent the artist's personal response to the Holocaust. They're raw, they're expressive, they're haunting, they're colossal in scale. You'll see that Lazansky deploys a cast of terrifying brutish figures, menacing skulls, anguished victims, and his anger is palpable. In 1961, the trial of Adolf Eichmann the notorious war criminal was underway in Jerusalem. This is the first televised trial that was broadcast across the globe. And at the trial, 90 Holocaust survivors testified. This was a watershed moment as far as understanding the Holocaust as a distinct, catastrophic tragedy of World War II. Finally, the world understood what the Holocaust was. The world was riveted by his capture, by his trial, and afterwards, a number of other Nazi criminals were tried, especially in West Germany. And people really became much more interested in understanding what had happened, in talking to survivors and reading their stories. And filmmakers, artists, playwrights really brought the story of the Holocaust to life. The first thing you see when you come into the exhibition is these Nazi bus that he executed in 1961. And right at this moment, the world is fixated on this trial of Adolf Eichmann. You know, he was tried in this glass bulletproof box, and the world watched this man as survivor after survivor told their harrowing story of how their families were murdered and their villages were wiped out and their families were taken to Auschwitz on trains that Eichmann had organized. And commentators were absolutely disturbed by the ordinary appearance of Eichmann in that glass box. He just looked like an ordinary man, he, a functionary, a bureaucrat. He didn't look like a, a mass murderer. And so Lazansky is really showing these Nazis sort of being consumed and devoured by this evil, you know, the, the, the skull cap, the, the teeth visor, the muzzle. They're, they're silenced, they're dehumanized. As you move through the exhibition, You'll, and you come into the second gallery, you'll see the drawings in which he treats the victims of the Nazis, the six million. Women and children are really central to the Nazi drawings, to their suffering and their agony. And you come upon uh, number 13 here. This is the first drawing you're greeted by when you come into the second room of the exhibition. And you see a female corpse suspended from some kind of scaffolding. And if you look above her head, she actually has her hands grasped as though she's praying. And she's being um, strung by her own garments. Uh, this terrifying beast is, is kind of coming at her along with a bird of prey who looks like he might peck on her. And what I find is such a terrifying detail is this hand coming from the ground and gripping her foot and pulling her foot down into the earth. As you move into this larger space, you'll see a series of drawings in which Lazansky deploys Christian iconography, crucifixions, pietas, and he uses it as a symbol not of Christ's suffering but of the, the Jewish suffering and the martyrdom of the Jews in the Holocaust. As we move forward, and we're standing in front of number 23, you'll see a child crucified on a cross. He's surrounded by these birds of prey, and they've already begun to peck at his body. And he's being held up in a kind of pieta by a bishop or pope figure. On the child's stomach, in very light graphite are the two stars of David. These are the only stars of David you'll see in the entire series. Lazansky was focused on the Holocaust and the Nazi drawings, but he also wanted to remember all of the Nazi victims, the Roma and Sinti, the ethnic Polish children, the Soviet POWs, and he worried that minorities were at risk in the future for similar genocides. He wanted to universalize the tragedy. 
And when you turn here to this figure um, on the final wall of a woman crucified on a kind of cross, it's one of the most iconic drawings, I think, in the series. It's really powerful. It's about the, it's about the murder and desecration of the bodies by the Nazis. Um, she's, her, her feet are, you know, gripped in pain. There's blood dripping onto the scripture, scripture that he's scratched out and cut and cropped, and there's blood throughout. And it's, it's a powerful thing to look at. There are thousands of strokes of graphite going across the entire background. If you look at the top part, you can see there's a sheen from how hard he pressed on the graphite, and it goes all the way down to the bottom. And you'll also see tack marks he pulled, you know, he, he was very rough in his handling of, of the drawings. These weren't meant to be, you know, beautiful works of art to look at. These were really, you know, expressions of his, of his, um, I don't know, his <laughs> state of mind in trying to understand the evil that happened. For me, the show really reminds me of the power of art. Um, these are not subtle works. They're executed with purpose and profound feeling. And I think Lazansky's rage combined with his extraordinary draftsmanship makes a powerful statement. These drawings are intense and upsetting and haunting and formidable. It is, I think, a once-in-a-generation chance to see them, and you won't forget it.